Hey world, my name is Christopher, and I'm going to show you how to take a, a VCF file or a contact card file and put it directly into your phone through a QR code and NFC sticker called QR Pop. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. First thing is, I, I created an account at mycontactapp.net and I logged in. This is a system that uh, that I own. It's free to use. Once you log in and everything, you can go to contact card. And I've already done all this, so we're not going to go through it again. But you create, uh, add new card, you create a card, <clears throat> you go through that process. So I'm pressing the pencil. I'm just showing you down here where it says copy card link, see? Or I can download it. But if I copy the link, then the link stays online. I like the link option because it's constantly, whatever changes we make as iOS and Android and you know, PCs make changes and we find out about it, we'll go and retune our contact card to make sure that it works the way we want to. Our contact card gives lots of uh, flexibility and customizations for the web links. You can personalize the links. You can have just the name or you can personalize it so it can say, you know, uh, Carmen's Real Estate and that's the link. So you can give identifiers, the same for the email. You can have custom internet working. So custom, I have it say my email, you know, stuff like that, uh, that no one else really offers. You can even add notes right here, add a note to your card, which is really important. And I'm gonna show you why here in just a minute. So I've copied the link. Now I'm gonna go to QR Pop Short Link Maker. And you can just use that link. If you have a, a way to deliver the link already, you can do that. But delivery of the link is really the important part. Right, so once you get somewhere, well, everything's the important part because our contact card is quite unique. You won't find another one like it. Trust me. When you make a card in iOS or Android and you share it, it may not be cross compatible. And I challenge anyone that has an iOS or an Android, uh, but particularly iOS, if you go into the website section and you create an identifier, and so you name the website like, um, you know, personal or home and then you share that to an Android, it will go away. That identifier will go away, but not with our system. So that's the important part because everything comes from the cloud. So here is the destination link. Well, first of all, we we have our QR pop maker, assuming that you already have one of these QR pops. Uh, you're just going to log in, go to QR pop, and then destination link right there, put in that link that you just copied from the clipboard and then hit the save. And now, I'm going to show you when you scan what's going to happen and we're going to use this QR pop so QR pop looks just like that it's a, a lovely morning check this out here now I'm going to scan the code and look how fast that picked up scanning and down here it just downloaded my contact card that's how easy it is but let's say 